Welcome back to 5-Minute Fantasy Football, presented to you by the Sports Gambling Podcast Network. I'm your host, Dave Heilman, a.k.a. Dynasty Dorks, and this is 5-Minute Fantasy Football. We're going to cover the Buffalo Bills. I have Mike Clay's projections in front of me, as well as some sleeper ADP on the top players. And I also want to talk to you about season-long underdog. They have their Pick'em Challenge, and you can do higher lowers on Josh Allen season props. 27 and a half passing yards. You have 10 and a half rushing TDs. Um, you have 3,800.5 passing yards. Do you think it's going to be higher or lower? 480.5 rushing yards, higher or lower? And 10 and a half rushing TDs. Like I said, that's higher or lower. Uh, give me the higher on the 480.5 rushing yards. A lot of scrambling from Josh Allen always. And we know this team ran the ball a lot more with Joe Brady as the offensive coordinator. So let's look at what Mike's, Mike's got projected. Josh Allen, he's got him projected for just under that, that passing yard total at 3,715, 23 touchdowns. That's lower. That's actually, yeah, it's lower than what underdog has. And then you look at the rushing total. He's got 498 and nine, a little lower on the rushing TDs, a little higher on the rushing yard. So Mike and I are on the same page here. He has Josh Allen as the number two quarterback on the year. And Sleeper, he's the number one quarterback coming off the board. James Cook, he's going as the 14th. If Right now he's 14th in uh, Mike Clay's uh, projections. And Cook is 14th, uh, number pick 46 in the, in the uh, Sleeper uh, ADP right now. He's got him for 945 rushing yards, four rushing touchdowns. Remember, Again, with Joe Brady, they, they only scored about half a point more per, per game, but they ran the ball considerably more, 52% of the time versus 42% of the time um, after Joe Brady took it over. Um, on the receiving game for James Cook, 49 receptions, 402 yards. Uh, I know some people are a little high on Ray Davis. Um, he's got some action in here, but RB57, you're not really too interested if James Cook were to go down, that's the only time you could see uh, some more from these other guys. At the receiver, Sleeper doesn't know what to do with it. We don't know what to do with it. Um, you look at right now, we have Keon Coleman going off as the uh, 100th pick. Sam Curtis Samuel, 119th pick. And Shakir is the 175th pick. These are three of the – this is the, the, the lowest wide receiver one or second to lowest wide receiver one out of ADP. And there's not much better as far as the rankings. As far as the rankings, Mike Clay's got Keon Coleman as the 54th, Curtis Samuel as the 56th, and Khalil Shakur as the 65th receiver as the finish. Um, none of them are going to get over 100 targets. Um, he's got 58 receptions for Coleman, 63 for Samuel, 56 for Shakur, 800 yards for Coleman, Curtis Samuel 640, and Shakir um, 662. Uh, five touchdowns for Coleman, four for Samuel, three for Shakur. Um, not much you're looking for. I mean, what do you guys think? Who do you think is going to be the top guy here? Uh, I do lean towards Keon Coleman just because I do think he's going to have the the bigger plays and they're going to design for him. Um, but, you know, as far as PPR, as far as slot, you know, it'd be interesting to see what Samuel and Shakur do. Uh, MVS is there. Um, but I think the number one receiver is going to be Dalton Kincaid. Um, I'm a little higher than Mike is. Mike's got him projected as the seventh best tight end in PPR, 75 receptions, 727 yards, and four touchdowns. Um, Sleeper has him as the fourth tight end going off the board. Um, so let me know what you think. This is the 2024 Buffalo Bills episode. Uh, remember, the big changes this offseason, Stefan Diggs and Gabe Davis are out of town. That leaves the second most vacated targets in the NFL. So if one of those guys were to step up, let's say Curtis Samuel, who's had, you know, a thousand yards before in his career, um, or Shakur were to take the, the third year leap, um, you could see, you know, you could see one of those guys being a massive value in your leagues. Um, but I just I do think that you see a lot of 12 personnel, which is one one running back, two tight ends. And you see a whole lot of Dawson Knox and Dalton Kincaid. Um, and then, again, rush the ball a little bit more where Ray Davis could get a little bit of action. Um, but Josh Allen's going to be fine. He did well without Stefan Diggs um, really contributing at the second half of the season. I don't think it's going to be a big loss. And, and you got MVS. There's kind of a sneaky play for your best ball. 
Um, he's going to catch, catch a couple of touchdowns, maybe a couple, um, couple TD games. So, um, again, this is the Buffalo Bills. This is five minute fantasy football. As always, good luck this season.